This training will cover how to import attendance records on the Child Care Subsidy online billing portal. Providers who already have an established system to track attendance may be able to use the data collected in that system and import it into the new portal. You must first contact your resource developer for approval to use this function. Without approval, access will not be granted. Once approved, providers will receive an import training document for additional information on how to use this feature. First, locate the attendance tile on the main dashboard. Once selected, locate the import attendance file and select import. If you are a member of more than one organization, select your organization under provider. Providers who are not associated with more than one organization will only have their facility listed. To import a file correctly, specific information is needed. In an effort to assist providers with accuracy, the portal can generate a list of client IDs for all children currently authorized to receive subsidized care at your facility. To generate this list, select Generate Client ID Listing on the Import screen. This will open as an Excel sheet listing your provider ID and the case ID, client ID, and client name of all authorized children. In addition to the client IDs, the import file must be formatted correctly. The portal also contains a template example of this format, which can be accessed using the template example option on the import screen. Incorrect formats will not be accepted. The template example shows how each column and row should be formatted. Column A should be titled Case ID. Column B should be titled Client ID. Column C should be titled Date and formatted as a two-digit month, two-digit day, and four-digit year, and so forth. Once the file is formatted according to the example, it needs saved in a CSV file. To import the completed file, select Browse under Upload File, select the correct file, and Open. The file can then be imported by selecting Import. On the following screen, each attendance record listed on the import file will be shown with a status of complete or error. The reason for the error will be listed to assist with corrections. If the record was complete, it has been successfully added to the attendance record, errors will need to be corrected and imported again. Thank you for viewing this training. Please refer to the information on your screen for your support needs. Additional short training videos are available in the training video library.